Betsip blogger here and um, well it's the day we fly we get the coach to um, Burning Man. Um, it's uh, just waiting about really, not getting the coach until eight o'clock-ish. And uh, so I just thought I'd walk up the very steep hill that is next to uh, the 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 um, what do you call it hostel. And I walked up here last time my mate Steve and um, it was after we'd hired bicycles and um, I'd woken up in the morning with the tendon behind my knee really sore I could hardly walk and like almost having to hop up this hill um, so it's a lot less painful this time so just waiting like racehorses in the stocks uh, almost at the top but so close so close god I can do it last bit oh I don't think I can do it I'm going to turn around and go back down no I'm going to do it all the way to the top oh, I have a tag there <sighs> Quite a view, eh? So, I'm in the queue, waiting for the bus to come. Got my stuff there. That's my bits there. Got my sleeping bag and my tent in there, and my day bag and and my main bag. And I have a new fancy bag. Yes, fancy. So, uh, that's it. Let's get on with it. We all got onto one of the legendary Green Tortoise buses. To begin with, they were set out in a very comfortable way with almost sofa-like seating arrangements and little bonquettes for, for writing and things like that. After travelling for about an hour, we stopped at a supermarket to buy any last-minute emergencies. The drivers miracleized the bus into a sleeping palace where there was areas for people to sleep in the front and the back and all over the place eventually we all got to sleep and woke up to find ourselves riding through the desert seeing the sunrise in the queue well not the queue yet just a long line that could be a queue eventually We drove along the dusty road until we had to stop where we were issued with our tickets and programs and other ephemera that we were given. Then we had to go through the main gate into the Burning Man Festival itself. All the festival virgins had to ring a bell and proclaim that they were no longer a virgin. Once we'd set up camp, we were eager to explore. The first place we had a look at was centre camp, a lovely circular shaded area where you could buy ice and coffee. And people just hung out there. It was a cool place to meet interesting and unusual people. Everyone's eyes are different. I mean, I'm not really sold. Hello. So it's day two. Wow, the night was great. Um, just, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so difficult to describe what is going on at the Burning Man. There is 
there's so much of everything going on at the Burning Man and you've got to find it. So I'm at the um, temple at the moment, which is just near the Burning Man, FG, and um, it's um, people write dedications to people that um, that they know that have died, and um, they burn it on the Sunday. And uh, so I've written a couple of things. I was going to show what I'd written, but um, it was too personal. I'm almost in tears at the moment, and I was crying while I was writing it. Might be a bit of heat exhaustion, might be the emotion of the thing. Who knows? <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
foam upon to the pink pachyderm. Take as many pictures as you like. Go home and love the pictures. The pictures will love you back. That is how much Bo loves you. His love will radiate through your digital film. Radiate through your digital film. Telephone poles all bent down the sideways, and the sun so hot. I got froze, got my jacket filled with lightning, and 200 crows. Tupperware boxes. I normally don't like them, but they don't have any long drops here. And uh, they're really well, so they're well serviced pretty regularly. Um, and I think everyone respects the toilets, which is good. So um, I'll film inside when I finish the business that I've got to do. So I'm on the uh, porta potty, very well done, very nice. Toilet paper, urinal, this is all pretty clean. And they all have a little thing there, a message. These toilets get thumbs up. On the Sunday, they burnt the temple. This is a very different experience from the exuberant burning of the man on the Saturday where there's lots of music, people cheering, people shouting and lots of fire juggling. This is a little bit more almost respectful. Very quiet audience watching the burning of the temple. And then when that had finished I had to go and get back onto the coach to go back to San Francisco. Uh, <laughs> 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 